Hey everybody, welcome back to Gaijin Gaiden. And uh, this time I wanted to talk to you briefly about uh, a little trip I took recently to, uh, to the city of Kagoshima. Um, I went there a while back, or a few days ago, and I had a really, really good time. I uh, <clears throat> took the Shinkansen uh, from here in Kumamoto, where I live. It took about, about an hour. Um, and uh, once I got there, uh, I got off at Kagoshima, Ch uh, uh, Kagoshima uh, Chuo Station. And uh, outside they have uh, this really interesting statue of um, some 20-some Japanese guys who went to go and study in the UK uh, to learn about you know Western science and technology and things like that. Except they kind of did this without the permission of the government, uh, which was still not too keen on the West at that time. Uh, but they ended up uh, coming back to Japan and bringing a lot of Western knowledge with them. And uh, it was a big help to getting Japan off on becoming a more modern country. So there's this really cool statue of those guys uh, outside the station. Uh, so then I headed over to a uh, ferry terminal and I took a ferry, took a real short ferry ride, uh, over to an island called Sakurajima. And Sakurajima is interesting because it's this volcanic island that's literally right off the coast. I mean, it's I mean, it's within spitting distance. The ferry ride is like not even like is like barely like ten minutes or something like that. It's really really short. And uh, like I said, uh, there there is an active volcano on Sakurajima, and in fact, there was a pretty serious eruption there back in uh, 1914. Um, now I've been to Hawaii before, so I've seen been to places with volcanoes before, but still, uh, this uh, this was really cool, and I would had people recommend it to me. So I went over there, and I spent a couple hours bouncing around the island. Uh, they have this uh, dinosaur park, it's called. Uh, the truth is, it's really just a big kid's playground with a, uh, a little bit of a dinosaur theme. Uh, now, I loved the dinosaurs as a kid, like most kids did. Uh, so even though I knew to kind of keep my expectations low, uh, I still wanted to see it. And yeah, that's the, I mean, that's what it was. It's a playground for kids with, you know, some, like, things that are made up to look like dinosaurs. And okay, you know, fair enough. It, it only took me a little while to go there and have a look. Um, <clears throat> I visited a shrine. I, uh, let's see, I ended up uh, hopping on a bus that, that would take you around the island. Uh, where you could uh, visit and uh, some of the main sites. Uh, the only problem with this is that they, this is like you literally would have like at most 10 minutes at these places. The, the whole the whole journey takes about an hour. And there are only about, I think, uh, eight of these buses a day. Um, or, or well, there's another there's basically two buses. they go two buses go out at about the same time. One leaves like a few minutes before the other. And uh, they they go around the island, and which is all well and good. But again, you only have like five or ten minutes at each of these stops. So if you really want to stop and kind of drink in something, um, you don't really have to have a choice. And then if you decide to stay there, uh, then you have to wait an hour for the next bus. So th that did kind of suck. I mean, there was I literally would have time to like run get off the bus, run over, take a couple of pictures or something and then hop right back on the bus or because I didn't want to get left behind. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, well, I, I, and the sad thing is that the thing didn't even stop everywhere I really wanted to go. There was um, a tori, a shrine gate, that was buried uh, almost up to the top during the eruption uh, back in 1914. and. It, People have kind of compared it a little bit to Pompeii, and I really wanted to see that, but uh, it wasn't one of the stops that uh, was there. And uh, Sakurajima is a fairly sizable island. Uh, I didn't want to spend a long time. It would have taken me a really long time to walk there, and it wasn't interested in renting a bicycle or taking a taxi. I mean, this was like. This was the, my main thing that I wanted to do in Kagoshima, was go to this place, uh, but I didn't want to spend all day there. So I'm like, well, you know, maybe some other time I'll go there. 
then I came back to Kagoshima uh, proper, and I hit the local aquarium because I like aquariums; they're really fun. And it's a it's a solid aquarium. Uh, it's not the greatest aquarium I've ever seen. If you want to see a really good aquarium in Japan, go to the Osaka Aquarium. That place is fantastic, like one of the best aquariums I've ever seen. <clears throat> But, uh, you know, it was only like about $15 to get in, and uh, it's pretty good in terms of having information available in English for foreign visitors. And uh, I, had a, I mean, I had a nice time. Was, plus, plus, you know, it only cost $15 to get in. Uh, I think like the Shed Aquarium in like Chicago costs something like 30, 40 bucks. I mean, seriously, 40 bucks to go to the aquarium. I mean, it's, it's insane. Yeah, yeah, a lot. Well, yeah, now that I think about it, like a lot of the museums in Chicago, like if you want to like get in, it's like costs like twenty bucks. What was it the Natural History Museum I tried to go to one time? I'm like, I'm not paying twenty bucks for this. So I actually just poked around in the gift shop and left. But you know, Chicago is not the cheapest place in the world. So okay. Um, let's see. So uh, after that, I decided to just sort of walk around the city a little bit and just sort of I, I was having the idea to kind of head vaguely head back in the direction of the train station and I knew relatively where it was from where I was at um, so I kind of headed it just sort of like okay I know where I want to go is in that general direction and uh, Kagoshima isn't that huge of a city so I wasn't that worried about getting lost uh, so I just started walking and um, one thing I did want to see uh, before I left was uh, the statue of this fellow named uh, Saigo Takamori. Uh, he's one of the uh, main players in the Satsuma Rebellion, which was a uh, really critical uh, historical event um, that happened in the 1800s. In fact, where I live in Kumamoto was also a really key uh, part of that war. Um, but I'm not going to lay the history on you too thick. Uh, but this needs to say this guy was a really, really big deal in Japanese history. And he's uh, extremely popular in Kagoshima because that's basically where he was from and where um, you know he did a lot of his uh, stuff for which he is known. Um, so there's these, all these little cartoon mascots of him all over town. Uh, the only thing I can really compare it to is sort of like if you go to Illinois and the way they treat Abraham Lincoln there. And I lived in Illinois before, so I, I, I get it. It's, uh, it is kind of strange to see uh, a historical figure treated uh, in this way, but again, the way people in Illinois sort of uh, play up Abraham Lincoln and the way people here kind of react to Sego Takamori, it, it did seem more than a little bit familiar. Uh, we don't usually see a lot as many like little Abraham Lincoln dolls and things like that, but uh, well, you know, things work differently in Japan. Uh, anyway, I did uh, actually end up finding the statue of him that I had been looking for. It's quite a nice statue, and it's by a really, really nice park. Uh, after that, I visited a uh, shrine that was nearby. There, it was a uh, really busy. Uh, Pretty interesting little place. Uh, then I went shopping, uh, and uh, in the shopping district, which was nearby, and uh, I'm, I'm going to show you kind of some of the things I picked up while I was there. Uh, but the, the coolest thing I got here was uh, this. Uh, so this is a Japanese translation of a uh, Marvel comic series called Miss Marvel, and this is actually one of my favorite uh, comic book series that's uh, going out right now. And I was really, I've been looking for a Japanese copy of that for quite a long time. Uh, I mean, I could have ordered one from Amazon Japan, but, you know, it, it's more fun to find these things. You know, I mean, I, it wasn't the, my highest priority in life, but it was definitely something I wanted to get my hands on. Uh, I haven't really had this time to sit down and, like, read through it too much and or compare it to the English version. Uh, but uh, that is something I'm looking forward to doing uh, when I have a little bit more free time in the future. And it comes with um, these really cool liner notes to explain some of the American culture and uh, things like that. Uh, so if you read manga, sometimes you'll see that they put those in there just to sort of explain things that 
Westerners would probably not know about, but would be taken as just common knowledge here in Japan. Um, uh, after I did that, uh, actually, because I'd spent so much time walking, my legs were really, really killing me. So uh, I grabbed a quick dinner and then uh, pretty much came back home. Uh, but another thing that I bought while I was on uh, Sakurajima is this uh, rather nice magnet. Uh, I don't think you're going to be able to see it too clearly. My webcam's not that high quality. Uh, but uh, here is a, a good old Sayo Takamori. Uh, here is uh, Sakurajima. And it says um, on, on the magnet, Kagoshima and Sakurajima. And this was only like 400 yen, so I've got this uh, stuck on my fridge. It's actually holding uh, the uh, Shinkansen schedule there. Uh, the other thing, one other thing that I got there was uh, this quite nice t-shirt. So here's the front of it with a picture of Sakurai Jima on the front. And... Uh, more detailed one on the back. Uh, while I was there, I also picked up uh, as a souvenir uh, these snacks that had like this uh, sweet cream, I guess you could call it, made from, of all things, sweet potatoes. Uh, I'm not really the biggest sweet potato person in the world. They're okay at best to me. Uh, but they were had a free sample at the store where I bought this, and I'm like, well, I mean, okay, how bad can it be? I'll just try a bite. I'm like, wow, this is this is really good. I've never had sweet potato that tasted this good before. So I bought that as um, my omiyage for my coworkers. Um, if you're not familiar with that term, omiyage basically means like souvenirs. And if you go somewhere here in Japan on like some place that's like considered a real trip, a real journey. Uh, like, if I go to Fukuoka, which is also an hour away, well, I don't need to buy anybody anything like that because, you know, uh, Fukuoka, going to Fukuoka, that's not anything really special. Uh, Kagoshima is a little bit of a different case. It's considered further away, even though it's really only about another 15 minutes on the train, on the Shinkansen, but that's, I mean, that's just how it is. Uh, so I brought it back, and uh, my coworkers did enjoy it. Uh, so I was pleased with myself for making a good call on the, uh, the souvenir front. And um, I kind of was debating uh, whether or not to actually put the videos uh, that I took uh, during my trip up here on the channel. Because, uh, you, know, you know, my uh, vacation videos are perhaps not the most interesting thing, but uh, I have shared them with some people uh, elsewhere on the internet aka my Facebook, and uh, they uh, proved to be quite the hit, so I have decided that uh, shortly I will be putting some of those videos up. I hope you guys will check them out and enjoy them. So with that said, I'm going to call it here. Uh, as always, please comment, rate, subscribe. Of course, you can follow me on Twitter, at Gaijin Gaiden, and please also join me on Tumblr, at Gaijin Gaiden. Until next time, take care and have a good one.